Meningitis stems from the word meninges, the three protective membranes that surround the brain and protect the nervous system. Meningitis is an infection of the meninges caused by a variety of microorganisms. One of these is Neisseria meningitidis, more commonly known as meningococcus. Divided into several strains with similar characteristics, the meningococcal bacterium has spawned its very own macabre alphabet. Meningitis A, B, C, W135, and even X and Y. A highly contagious killer, meningococcal meningitis A is responsible for most epidemics in Sub-Saharan Africa. In West Africa, Meningitis is propelled by the harmaton, a very dry wind that blows during the dry season. The harmaton carries dust particles that cause lesions in the nose, which help the meningococcal bacteria to breach the mucous membranes and enter the bloodstream. The bacteria pass directly from one person to another through kissing, sneezing, or simply sharing a glass or by sleeping in the same room. Once in the blood, the meningococcal bacteria make their way to the blood-brain barrier, which separates the central nervous system from the bloodstream. The barrier's role is to protect the brain against attacks by pathogens or germs. But the blood-brain barrier isn't flawless, and the meningococcal bacteria can pass through in advance to the brain where they cross into the cerebrospinal fluid and multiply, causing swelling and infection of the meninges. One to four days later, the first symptoms appear. These include stiffness of the neck, fever, intense headaches, confusion, and lethargy. When the disease doesn't kill, it can lead to serious neurological damage, such as learning difficulties, brain lesions, and loss of hearing. 